Here we have Patrick Moore and Akeem Williams. This is them at the 2020 Arnold's Classics. Patrick Moore, he did not bring the package that he brought at the Mr. Olympia event the following or the previous year. So I think the judges really dinged him on that. Akeem Williams, he looked pretty terrific here, I have to say, for Akeem Williams. He brought up some of his his down points. He placed 7th. Patrick Moore placed 10th. To me, that's incredible. Patrick Moore may have actually been a little bit better than Akeem. It's hard to say, really. Akeem has some some size in those arms, but the, the as far as the structure, midsection, shoulder width, and even the calves. Look at the calves, and I am a stickler when it comes to that. It all goes to Patrick Moore. But this is just the front relaxed position, and as you probably do know, he can't go by that. Let's go to the front double bicep pose. And Patrick Moore, he's not bad in this pose. And that's about it. He doesn't have much sting as far as the lats or even the bicep peaks. But not bad. It's actually pretty good. He's got some good lags as well. Akeem Williams is a demon. From the knees up, he is unbeatable. Could use a little tighter midsection. But those arms, look at the size of those babies. But when you look at those arms, much like a Brandon Curry, they do not match the calves whatsoever. And I am a stickler when it comes to proportions. So I'm definitely giving this one to Akeem Williams, but there is going to be some notches down about his calves. Front lat spread. And same thing here, except this time Patrick Moore is winning the shot. I believe he's winning the pose. His lats far better either that or like i usually do say the arm dominant guys they seem to cover up their lats and the wider clavicle definitely an advantage for patrick moore i do like patrick moore's legs he's got some criticism saying he needs to put on some beef on those legs of his but hey it's all about aesthetics proportions and i think he has hit it nailed it definitely winning this one so it's close guys it's close and the side pose. All right, all right. I think Akeem definitely has an edge for sure. Look at the lags, guys. Look at the lag separation. And this is the same thing when you watch the video footage. Akeem moves around and you can see he is a lot thinner in the skin than he used to be. He definitely is getting better. It's all about refining your... Your bad points, and Akeem is doing that, for sure. So, yeah, based on the conditioning, I mean, you have to give this one to Akeem. And he's probably a thicker lad, too, when you see them in person. Look at the delts. He is a beast, for sure. Side tricep, and Akeem Williams is roly winklering it. He's doing it the roly winkler style, and I don't appreciate that. I've even heard some people say, oh, Ro Roly can't hit that. He's too wide. Are you kidding me? Anyway, I would still probably give this one to Akeem just based on that conditioning of the legs. And you can you probably see the tricep a little bit better, I guess. I don't know, though. Pretty close. Pretty close. But an edge to Akeem, I guess. Turn around, and now I can see what the judges were looking at. I don't know why I try to sing to you guys. I guess it's because I love you guys. But either way, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that all the time. Every once in a while, will do. The back development, look at the conditioning. The glutes, the hammies, baby please. And yes, I stole that from Louis Marco. I'm using it, whatever. At least I said his name. I'm sure he'll get an influx of views that Mark's Max Muscle whispered his name. Anyway, yeah, Patrick Moore definitely missing out on some thickness here, some size, but like I said, more than that, the conditioning, the glutes, hamstrings. This is an Akeem Williams pose. The rear double by, probably not so quite so easily won by Akeem Williams. Little bit messy in the lower lat area, and Patrick Moore, clean and neat like a brand new house or a kitchen you know what i mean like everything's clean and neat but hey sometimes the the messier places are more comfortable and they got more beef 
in the fridge, if you know what I mean. And Akeem does seem to have more beef when it when it comes to the upper back. But like I said, Patrick Moore, pretty decent shot here for sure. When you look at the lag development, and I find this strange because the calves from the front looked terrible for Akeem. But Patrick Moore, as big as his calves are, there's no muscle separation to speak of. So he's not really dinging Akeem in that aspect. Pretty close, though. I think the conditioning would get Akeem an edge. Ab and thigh. I guess they're both hitting it the side. It's an overhead. Both arms overhead. They should put that in the fine print. Ab and thigh. So guys like these two. Well, actually, no. Not these two. Patrick Moore can hit an awesome overhead. But guys like Akeem and William Bonac, guys like that, should be forced to hit it overhead. But anyway, that's my two cents on it. Akeem just too thick in the midsection to get as cut, I think, as Patrick Moore. So I guess Pat would get this one. Most muscular, I'm giving this one to the beast. The beast, Akeem Williams. He's like a big man. A man. Patrick Moore, he he's a man. They're both men. I mean, I'm a man. A little tiny man. But a great big voice. <laughs> anyway. Akeem Williams, I guess, at the end of the day, the start of the day, probably didn't look like he was going to be able to smoke Patrick Moore. And that's what a 10th place over 7th is, a, sm a smoking. So yeah, yes. Akeem Williams placed 7th for a reason. He was better than Patrick Moore. But I have another comparison that might tantalize you guys. Patrick Moore and Akeem Williams, part 2. This time the 2019 Mr. Olympia event. Meh? Anyway, figured I would do this one first. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. A little bit closer at the Olympia, actually. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the video, and find me on Instagram if you want to. If you don't, then, well, doesn't matter. Have a good day anyway, guys.